So after you have made a general meaning in your mind, now go for simplifying the options which have been asked. Now option A talks about a missile to explode the asteroid and save the earth. Hi everyone, Srijay here. You know, have you ever been stuck in the UPC exam hall when faced with these heavy technical terms or jargons as you can see here? And you ever wondered how will I solve these questions? Now let me tell you, you're not alone. Because this is one of the most important issues that almost all the aspirants face. Now that is exactly why I'm happy and I'm proud to introduce to you the first video in the series of videos on teaching you how to beautifully eliminate and logically eliminate the UPC prelims questions. Now this is going to be the first video regarding the same wherein I'll be teaching you how to solve these heavy technical or jargon based questions or how to do the word deconstruction as I call it. Now, how should you solve it? Take care. The first thing that you have to do is to split the words here. Now the, here the question talks about small farmer, large field, right? So here the one word would be small farmer and the other word would be large field. Now what comes to your mind when you hear the word small farmer, large field? You have to make a general meaning in your mind regarding the same. Now small farmer, large field can be a number of small farmers coming together, right? A number of small farmers coming together and cultivating in a large field, maybe they form a farmer producer organization, right? Now, after you have made the meaning in your mind, now then you go for simplifying the options. Now, the first option basically talks about giving a big plot of land to people displaced by war and they cultivate it together. Now, does it have any meaning with reference to small farmers and large field? A number of small farmers are not coming together, right? Only a big plot of land is given to them by the people. Therefore, it does not switch the meaning. But what about the second option here? The second option basically talks about a many marginal farmers, meaning a group of small farmers, they organize together and they start cultivating. Now here, many marginal farmers are forming a farmer producer organization or some kind of organization and together they are cultivating in a large field of, large field of land by pooling their resources right. Now this directly suits the term small farmers coming together in a large field and cultivating it together. Therefore, you can go with option B as the answer. So what do you have to do here? Always split the word, make some kind of meaning of the same, and then you simplify the options and go with that option which actually suits you or has the closest resemblance with the term asked in the question. Now you can pause the video here and try to do this question. What are we looking for here? We are looking for an option which has some kind of orbit and also has some kind of bombardment or explosion taking place here, right? So after you have made a general meaning in your mind, now go for simplifying the options which have been asked. Now, option A talks about a missile to explode the asteroid and save the Earth. But does this option have any orbit here? No, it only talks about a missile or an explosion is there, but no orbit is there. Therefore, you can eliminate option A. The second option deals with the spacecraft landing on another planet with an orbit. But even though orbit is there, does this option have any bombardment or explosion? No. Therefore, you can eliminate this option as well. Now, option D talks about a spacecraft which probes another comet with an orbit. But does this have any kind of explosion or bombardment taking place? No. Therefore, you can also eliminate option D. But what about option C? It talks about a missile which has an orbit or put into the atmosphere and targets something on the earth. So therefore, this missile explodes and also have an orbit here. Therefore, it directly suits the word asked such as the fractional orbital bombardment which has both resemblance to orbit and also bombardment here. So therefore, since it satisfies both orbit and bombardment, we can directly go with the option C as the answer here. Now, moving on to the next question. Here, what are we looking for? We are looking for some kind of aerial which can be air, meta, and also some kind of genomics which can be related to genome, DNA, all these stuff. Now you look for the option which has both DNA, genome, air, avian, bakisa. Now option A deals with collecting DNA samples which has direct relation to genome and from A. So it satisfies both aerial and genome. 
Option B deals with understanding the genetic makeup. So genetic genome is directly there and talks about avian species which has birds, all these. Now option C, use of airborne devices to collect blood samples. Now blood is not directly related to genome, right? So therefore you can eliminate option C here. And option D talks about sending drones to collect samples from land and water bodies. Now does it have any relation with aerial asked in the question? No, therefore you can eliminate option D. Now among option B, A and B, option A deals with DNA collected from A. So it satisfies both aerial, but only option B, it talks about understanding the genetic makeup of avian species. Now understanding the genetic makeup of avian species does not have any relation with the word air, right? Now a DNA sample of a bird can also be collected from the ground. Let's say birds, sparrows, even from the eggs that lay lay. So does it have any relation with the word aerial? No. Therefore, you can go with option A here because it has both DNA and also it collects samples from the A. So always remember, you have to go with that option which satisfies both the words and not go with that option which only has resemblance with the single word asked in the question or in the term. Now, moving on with the next question or continuing the series. Now, what are we looking for here? Let's split the term first and make a general meaning out of the same. So here you have two words, right? The first one is Ind and the second one is Ark. Now, Ind can be either India or indigenous, right? In can be India or indigenous. And the word R can be, try to make the words. It can be R creator, it can be Arctic, right? Now look for those options which satisfies both in and also R. Now the first option talks about indigenously developed radar inducted into Indian defense, which has relation with indigenous, but no R creator or Arctic is mentioned. Option B talks about India satellite in the Indian Ocean, which does not have any relation with the word arc here. Option C talks about a scientific establishment by India in the Antarctic. Now, even though India is weird, the word Arctic is not mentioned here. Now, what about option D? It talks about India and also a scientific study in the Arctic region. Now, Arctic can be directly related to arc here and India can be directly related to Indra. Right? So option D is the only option that satisfies both Ind and Arc. Therefore, you can directly go with the word Ind Arc here. Now that is how you have to do when these type of questions come, right? So first of all, what do you need to do? You first make a general meaning or a general idea of the term. You basically split the word such as for Y max, Y can be related to Wi-Fi, polar code some kind of code in the polar region. Now that is how you have to do it. After doing the same, then you simplify the options into the most simplest form. Now, after simplifying, you go for that option which satisfy the general idea or even the words in the question. Now that is how you have to do it. Now let me tell you, this is going to be the first of the videos. We'll be coming with other videos as well on how to do the word deconstruction. So if you found today's video helpful, this is just the beginning of the same. Starting from November 3rd, I'll be launching a 20 hour logical and elimination series along with 5 years of PYQ discussion from 2025 to 2021. Along with, I'll also be taking 100 logical questions wherein we'll be doing it in a group session. So through this series, you'll be able to decode the trickiest of UPC questions. So do join and link in the description below. Thank you everyone.